Hello, welcome to Nimco.in. My name is Anil Toller and this is my sixth uh, tutorial on uh, e-commerce uh, tutorial on Bloom online store. So get, let's get started. Uh, we are going to now we have completed our head section and uh, inside that head section we have created our sub menus. Uh, so we, we have to create the navi uh, navigation for the top header. Okay, so inside this navigation we have a uh, navigation top navigation and a s search panel here this search panel is actually a form and inside a form we have a uh, input type text and this is a placeholder and this is a submit button okay and uh, this is a sub menu and inside that sub menu we have individual list items this list item this is a list item this is a list item and inside that list item we have anchors okay so let's get started I'm running my Dreamweaver and index page pressing F4 so I can get more room for it okay find out where is our header top wrap so this is our header top wrap and we have first of all we need a form and inside that form we we need a input type of text input type of text and name equals to search name equals to search and after that we we need uh, input type submit and name equals to let's say cc or cc and value equals to uh, nothing okay so go to the browser and see this is our submit form now we have to target this form so we will give it a, a class of uh, let's say uh, src frm search form so se select this class and go to the style.css go to the bottom and target this form dot src frm search form so uh, inside this form we have to we have to first of all we have to margin top 10 px so the forms can be shift a uh, little okay giving a width of uh, let's say 300 px and a height of uh, not do, don't give the width and height we will just target the inputs in the search frm we have input whose attribute is type and value is text so we are using an attribute selector in css and targeting and first of all giving a background color of uh, a background color none okay we are giving background color of none go to the browser and there is no background color inside this form so uh, the first thing we have to give a placeholder and we are going to give the placeholder placeholder is a new HTML5 attribute and we have to write in the placeholder type in here okay we will type in here type in here okay go to the browser and press F5 this is type in here and as soon as I click on this and this placeholder is working so in the Photoshop we will find out the dimension of this form because this is our form so the dimension of the form is exactly exactly 230 pixel and 35 height width is 2 width is 230 pixels so give the f target the form with CSS the width is 230 px and height is height is 35 pixel around 35 px and give it a background color of a random color just giving a orange color right now okay this way we can uh, align it okay so the first thing we have to give is the 
border radius the border radius border dash radius is give it border radius of 10 pixel go to the browser and press F5 the border radius appears but uh, we have also to give a a border of uh, this color a border of this color give copy this hexadecimal code go to the and border of one pixel solid of paste hash paste we have to copy and paste this color go to the browser and we can slightly see this color now we have to uh, we have to vertically align this input so to vertically align we have to give the line height into the form of 35 pixel 35 35 pixel the form is exactly aligned and uh, we have to target also input the width of the input would be width of the input uh, let's say it, uh, the ma maximum width would be 230 and give it a width of uh, let's say 200 px no don't give it a 200 but 180 would be sufficient okay now we have also to give uh, this input a padding of 20 pixel padding left 20 pixel so text will appear after 20 pixels okay now reduce the width by 20 pixel because it will increase with overall width and we have to increase the height also so the height would be height would be let's say 30 pixel okay now we have to target this submit button so in the search form search frm we have an input whose attribute is type but the value is submit by this way I can target my submit button so what I need I need to have the dimension of this submit button so find out the dimension I have to close this dialog box go to this uh, marquee selection rectangular marquee selection and find out what will be the dimension of this box uh, the dimension would be 39 35 by 35 would be sufficient 35 by 35 pixels okay so width uh, width would be 35 pixel and height would be 35 pixel 35 pixel and give a background color of let's say red get the browser and press f5 now remove the borders for both so for removing border of both inputs we will target search frm and inside that for every input now go to the browser and uh, give a border of none Ma now this way we have removed the actual border okay so we have to create a sprite sheet or an image of 35 by 35 pixel in photoshop so go to the photoshop file new and the dimension uh, select the unit first of all pixels 35 by 35 and create a transparent background content transparent click ok now zoom this area ok now go to this this button custom shape tools and inside custom shape tools click on this tab go to this tab and all and append by this way you will get all of these icons and from here find out the magnifying glass which is here go to this tab and shift press the shift key and click and drag but the color is but the color is different so we will g go to the that image and the color is this color so press the eye tool for the eyedropper tool pick this color and copy this hexadecimal value 
and go to your another windows untitled and uh, delete this layer first of all delete uh, delete go to the custom shape tools and the color would be the same and draw this icon again okay and align it perfectly on the center now you can also resize it by pressing ctrl T and shift alt and the corner one that is this corner or this corner or this corner or this corner press shift alt click and drag by this we can reduce the size of this magnifying glass okay when you finished click on this selection apply and uh, we can also crop this image because we don't want this type don't crop it Just, okay F go to the file save for web and devices okay now the important thing is that we have to select a PNG 24 by this we will get the transparent area and a better quality this image will be of uh, 733 bytes but it's okay go to the browser and search as a magni magni dot png save and go to the previous image of our e-commerce boom okay control minus to zoom out and inside this input type submit we need that Im image magnifying image so then remove this area control space URL go to the image and we will find a magnifying image so press save go to the browser press F5 now this way we will get the submit button now we have to remove this orange color of our form remove this orange color with the browser press f5 okay we have to give a width of two pixel okay and six pixel okay but the main thing is that uh, when I hover on this submit button it should act as a uh, it, it should act as a as a pointer so by that we have to give a property called cursor pointer cursor cursor pointer cursor pointer okay now this now whatever I type here and press on the submit button it will be submitted to this URL okay and this uh, we can see this type in place holder is actually bold and it is somehow uh, italic so what how can we do that we will give a font variant property font variant font style italic okay go to the browser and press F5 Okay, it's italic but we have to give some bold so font weight bold font weight bold okay by this way we have created our sub menu now is this time we are going to create our sub menu uh, the navigation the top navigations and this top navigation is nothing but a uh, unordered list containing list items and each list item containing individual anchors so going to the source code and just after the form because this both the form and the top navigation the form and the top navigation is inside our this wrap okay the header top wrap and in 
inside that header top okay this header top is of 960 pixels so after the form we will be having a ul and inside ul we will have some list items and inside those list item we will be having anchors and give a attribute of href hash and uh, the first anchor is my account okay my account my account copy paste 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 okay the second is my wish list my wish list my wish list and the third one is also my wish list and the fourth one is checkout and the fourth one is I think login login okay go to the browser and see what's happen I press F5 now we have to target this list item so I am giving a class of uh, header top menu okay header top menu so in the CSS I'm going to target header top menu and inside that header top menu we will be having list items and that list item should have a display of inline block by this way that can be inline blocked okay this is horizontally appearing so the th uh, so the second thing is that we have to remove it from its DOM flow so we are going to give a position of absolute and we have to align now th this navigation is appearing here okay so we have to remove from this position and we have to align according to its parent this location so this location would be top zero and right zero so position absolute top column zero px no sorry actually we we are not going to remove the individual allies but the main parent the main parent is actual header top menu so this header top menu will going to remove from its DOM flow so display display apps sorry the position absolute position absolute and top 0 px and uh, right 0 px okay go to the browser and see the result okay this appeared here but it is not it should not cross this area so it is actually detecting this position because this this menu's direct parent is header top so we will find the header top and give a position of relative header top header top header top header top this is the header top it is the direct par parent of header top menu so we will give the position of relative so that child can detect the position of its parent okay i'm going to save this file and preview in the browser so you can see this is appeared here now we are going to target this header menu okay so we will giving a width uh, not actually we are not going to the width but we are going to target we are moving going to push it from the top so we are going to push it from 6 pixel okay from 6 pixels six pixels okay now the font color would be the same as we have given in the inputs so this color okay now remove these underlines so here to remove the underlines we have to target the anchors which anchors which is inside the allies and the allies which is inside the header top menu direct anchor and uh, text decoration text decoration none go to the browser and press f5 and we have to 
target these anchors okay to target the anchors we have to provide a padding of uh, let's say top bottom is 0 pixel but left right we initially give a 10 pixels and we will give a height of let's say 30 px and give a background color of uh, let's say red but we this is actually not detecting width and height because anchor is an inline element we have to give the display block property and go to the browser now this way it is detecting this position so we have to vertically align the text is perfectly center aligned but it's not vertically aligned okay to vertically align we have to give a property called line height line height 30 pixel because the amount of height would be the line height 30 px go to the browser and press f5 now change the font color with the inputs the color I had given in the inputs is find out the hexadecimal color value of this copy go to the hash paste save go to the browser ok remove this red color ok now you can see th there are some more gappings inside this so we can re we can reduce this padding up to 5 pixel ok 5 pixel now th the one thing I that notice that every font is in Arial either here his this or this or go to the more bottom or this these all fonts are in Arial so what I'm going to do is uh, find the font family property uh, font property it is font dash family and uh, remove this property from this and remove this also but target in the in the body section the body and we will give a property of font family now find font family again there is no property okay so go to the browser and find out okay now everything will be in areas so going to remove the padding a little bit okay my account my wish list now uh, we have noticed that the, this font size is a little bit so we are going to decrease the font size so to decrease the font size we have to use uh, by default it is 1 m's so we are going to give the property of 0.8 m's okay 0.8 m's okay 0.8 m's now now we have decided we are going to work on this main area this is main wrap okay and inside main wraps we have a main which is of 960 pixel and inside main we have three section one section is for uh, slider the second section is for our welcome message and the third section is for our new products recently launched on the portal uh, our, okay so uh, the first thing I need uh, I will simplify this code uh, we have to externalize our header wrap okay header wrap and footer wrap because uh, this header this header and this footer will be same on every page so we are going to externalize this header wrap so from header wrap to header wrap end header wrap end header wrap end from this select from this header wrap to header wrap and header wrap and cut this code cut this code go to the file new and uh, PHP file and paste this file and properly de-indented this coding by pressing shift 
tab shift tab and save this file you need to have to make a folder in your project called includes includes and inside includes this file name would be header dot php so by this way i can dynamically include my header so how can i include we have we have removed the header from this location so we dynamically include this header from this location so php we have to include include once okay include once and in the in this function the argument we are going to pass includes folder inside includes folder we have a header dot php file okay i can find inside the includes folder we have the header file okay so similarly the we have also to externalize the footer so cut this code go to the file new file and uh, php file create the file paste the wrap and select this coding and press shift tab shift tab so save this file and give it a name of footer dot php save and go to the index page and copy this location copy this location paste to this location and just give it a name of footer dot footer dot php go to the browser and press f5 nothing everything is okay so we have simplified our code now these files are included in the dreamweaver okay now we are going to target the main class find the main dot main main and remove this background color and give it a border so i can visualize this box as a border border of one pixel dashed one pixel dashed of color let's say black okay go to the browser and press f5 now this way i can visualize this box by this dash 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 container okay similarly the footer also the footer wrap where is the footer wrap footer wrap find footer footer wrap this background color remove the background color and give this property copy and paste save go to the browser no don't give the footer this is a footer acquire remove this property so this way this is the main section and this main section one one important thing about the main section is that main sections height cannot be fixed here in the css we have given the height of uh, uh, the main wrap what is main wrap but main wrap do not have a fixed height because the main the main content of a website may vary so if it vary the height may change so we will give a height of min height min dash height so it will be flexible okay min height would be 9 time pixels so minimum height okay so in the dream viewer press f5 and uh, initially we have to give the height so we are going to working on these three sections which three sections the first section is for slider so we assume that height would be 420 so inside the main section we need three sections one section is we will give the name of uh, slider box that's a slider box and we are going to give this div a class of uh, uh, let's say main middle okay and this we are giving uh, let's say 
uh, we are giving class of uh, new products and welcome okay main middle and main bottom no problem main bottom main bottom commenting the ending of every divs which is a good habit and of slider box this is the end of end of middle main middle and this is the end of main bottom okay now going to target the slider box in the css we are going to target the slider box dot slider box we are going to width would be 100% and height would be of 420 pixel that we have calculated in the photoshop this would be this height would be approximately 420 height approximately or let's say 400 400 pixel and give a background uh, border border of one pixel dashed black color so we can visualize what's happening go to the browser and press f5 so this is the slider and uh, i can also write here slider temporarily this is the slider and inside the slider this is the slider text or then this welcome message which would be of uh, maybe calculate this something around uh, something around 200 pixels okay so going to target the main middle copy dot main middle both this property will be here main middle but height would be 200 and this would be the welcome part so we are going in the source code and just writing as a welcome part or welcome go to the browser this is the welcome part and this remaining part okay so the remaining part would be from this to this approximately 300 pixel okay so main bottom with the style copy paste main middle main bottom and of 300 pixel 300 so 300 plus 200 is 500 500 plus this is 900 we have given main wrap of height of 910 pixel so that's not problem now i can give a uh, min height min dash height of 910 pixel okay and this is in the source code give new products now this is actually our headings so we will wrap this content new products inside h1 okay h1 or h2 so this h1 heading elements can uh, effectively increase our search results on google for search engine optimization we will be using uh, this heading tags okay so inside this we will be using h1 and uh, welcome message uh, the welcome would be in all caps welcome and this is new products is also in h1 h1 
okay now we have to write this lauren epsom text okay so this will be in a paragraph okay so inside the welcome we need to have a paragraph please write your html codes all in caps and this is our lauren epsom text text copy paste copy paste 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 as many times as you can go to the browser and press f5 lauren epsom text okay paste paste Lauren Epson text. Okay, inside the new product section, we will be having four images. Uh, so we have to crop these images from. So to crop these images, we have to go to the crop tool, and inside the crop tool, we will crop this image. The image is of 169 by 169. Click, go to the file, save for web and devices. Now the important thing is notice here, if we are going to use, uh, if we are going to save this file as a PNG 24, it will be of 43 kilobyte, which is really really large. So in that case, I'm going to save this file in JPEG form. Okay. Uh, by saving in JPEG from this 42 is reduced to 8 kilobyte. I can also will be having a medium quality or uh, it depend upon the uh, what much quality do you want. So I will be JPEG. I will be using JPEG with high quality and go to the save and I will replace this product and save this product save this product in the image folder now go to the control press control alt z to undo okay now uh, inside new products we will be having uh, this container box so which is going to contain all our products okay so we will be having a container box here so inside this we will be having a div whose uh, class is uh, product underscore container product container and we are going to target this product container the style tags the width would be hundred percent and height would be 300 pixel and give a border of one pixel dashed of red color so I can visualize what's happening so this is the height so actually not give the paragraph it's around 280 or 250 okay 250 so inside this product container we will be having three images uh, I just I need some of the product information these are the products and there are some information regarding this so we will be having a individual product container and that product container uh, have a image and here we have the product uh, name and product price okay so we need a box for individual containers so we will be product container so div we are giving a class of uh, 
products and uh, inside this product we will be having uh, image src this image products image and uh, we will be having uh, spans uh, sorry uh, let's say one div this is for product name and uh, let's say we are using a span span okay span and this will be also a span span start span close and this is a product price product price middle browser and target this product from the CSS width would be let's say 200 by 200 pixels and background color would be red or orange okay now we are going to increase the size a little bit okay so text align center text align center and uh, also we need some margin property of margin from top bottom we need 0 pixel from left right we need uh, 5 pixel or 10 pixel of margin okay so I'm going to repeat this property for every image there are exactly four images now the one thing is that every box is appearing one after another so we are going to target this pro products as a inline block so products we are going to target the display would be inline block inline block so by this I can inside I can wrap the inside this one. so going to reduce its container and margin of 5 pixel okay now this box is perfectly aligned but we have to give some margin also so we can give the padding top to this box container this product container padding top of uh, let's say 20 pixels okay now remove this orange color now we are going to target all these images we are going to target all these images having a wide border and slightly curved border radius so uh, inside products inside products every image should have a border of one no I think five pixel solid white solid white solid white and a border radius border dash radius of five pixels press control plus control plus so I can zoom this border radius control 0 to reset it normal position so this is the product and we have to ultimately convert this image to an anchor so we will wrap this image inside an anchor anchor and href hash this anchor so copy this property paste here paste here and paste here go to the browser and press F5 when I press hover some of the links appeared I can also the 
that will be okay from right now now the last thing is remaining that this is a a box shadow box shadow so we are going to give the box shadow to the products container okay going to the products and using a property called box shadow from from x offset we don't need any shadow from y offset we need a 5 pixel then 5 pixel of blur and the color would be rgba rgba black color so black color r is 0 green is 0 blue is 0 and for alpha we initially gave 1 the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is 0 go to the browser and press f5 now we can see we have targeted incorrectly we have to target this property on the image itself okay remove from this with this and okay so this 0.5 so going to remove all those temporary borderlines Okay, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to create a slider with pure CSS. Thank you for watching.